It's a viral sensation, the bad kind, that won't go away. A TikTok challenge teaches people how to steal some Hyundai and Kia models in just less than a minute. CBS 8 Santa Laurel joins us from outside the San Diego Kia dealership with details on a new security feature to prevent more thefts. Anna? That's right, you guys. Kia is right now sending out letters to all affected drivers saying the company will install ignition protectors for free, but even that would not help the man I met today who drives a 2017 Kia Soul. He's just the brand new victim of this whole TikTok trend called the Kia Challenge. It's, it's going to cost me, you know, if the deductible was about $1,000, something I don't have right now. Someone tried to steal Matthew Zaborski's Kia Soul. They broke off the hander trying to um, get in. When he walked up to his car Friday morning to go to work as a security guard, he saw glass from his shattered back window everywhere. Then I noticed up on the steering wheel the damage up there. So then I knew that it wasn't just a break in to maybe get something out. He was shocked when a friend told him about the Kia challenge from TikTok. You always think it's not going to happen to you. And when it does, it really like basically just destroys you kind of emotionally. Back in 2021, TikTok videos started showing people how they can steal some Hyundai and Kia vehicles in seconds with just a screwdriver and a charging cord. I would never imagine there'd be something so disgusting, so pointless. I can't believe that those videos are going around. From 2011 to 2022, 9 million Hyundai and Kia models were sold without immobilizers. That means they don't require a key or key fob to start the engine. Thieves remove the steering column cover like they did Matthews, then use an iPhone charger to start the engine. So it didn't work and they probably got afraid and just took off. Yeah. They busted this off. Okay, they busted that off. Then that's where the key went. So this would go right here. How and are then, you even able to start your car? Um, that's a good question. That's what I was wondering too. After it happened, Matthew remembered he got a letter from Kia at Christmas. It tells him they'll install an ignition protector for free. But even if he had that installed, it's all a major setback for Matthew. I love San Diego. I love the people here, but I, I have to work two, three jobs to make it here. And um, then this happens. Oh, that's so unfortunate, Anna. You know, we reported back in the fall that the city of San Diego is actually suing the Kia and Hyundai automakers. Will that help Matthew at all? It could. You know, the city attorney told us at the time that this litigation could take years, most likely will take years for any kind of resolution. But she did advise drivers to keep their receipts of any costs that they incur because one day they could be reimbursed. Kia also announced and agreed to a $200 million settlement for impacted drivers. We put a link to that. I also sent that information to Matthew, uh, so that could be helpful to him in the coming days.